What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Valhalla. My name is Splattercat, happy to have you here today as we hang out for a while. We just made Stella's day better through the mystical power of liquor. Come again, and so hopefully the day gets easier. Phew, it's been quite a day, at least the streets are calm. I have, uh, arrived yet again at the, uh, <clears throat> oh god, at the majestic hall of heroes. Calm until now. We meet again, bartender. You look winded, Virgilio. It's pronounced Virgilio. I'm pretty sure it's Virgilio. You said as much the last time you came. Pronunciations are a silly thing society imposes on letters. They want to be free. They want to be pronounced however they want. You look winded, Virgilio. <laughs> no, it double skipped. He doesn't say anything of value anyways. And yet, you're the only one in the vicinity hyperventilating. That's some, uh, I was jogging. Dressed like that? I can jog however I want. Yes, yes you can. What can I get for you? Something fake. Of course. Something fake. Something fake. I assume he means the beer, because it said traditionally brewed beer has become a luxury. This one is close to the real deal. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I'm just gonna go with a beer, I guess. Because that's the only one in here that it says... This is not traditionally brewed, like it's an artificial beer, so I don't know. Man, I hate it when this guy comes in. It means I automatically lose my perfect day bonus. I hate this guy. There you go. Now, tell me why this is fake. Because I didn't even try. Your expectations are giving me a damn, or of me giving a damn about the abstract order are fake. Bravo. Brilliant. Say, Virgilio, where do you work? I take the noble duties of a curator at the Steampunk Museum. Oh, God. Really? What that makes sense. It makes a lot of sense. Really? What do you do? I study everything that comes and keep it clean for the people that visit the premises. But lately, my duties have been hindered by the museum's owner. Really? Yeah, he told me, stop touching the exhibits. You're gonna break them. The nerve of some people. Huh? He still fails to realize that I'm the curator there. Without me, all those machines would be rustier than they already are. Even the visitors get that I'm the one responsible for those. Why can't the owner realize it, too? Yeah. I bet he treats you like a janitor or something like that. Exactly. All right, then. Time for your next challenge, bartender. Challenge, he says. I want purity. Purity. Uh. Purity. So maybe he's looking for clear liquor? I don't know. That's kind of an odd one. I'm not really sure what to say about that one. Purity. Um. I apologize, by the way. If you hear banging in the background, my neighbors upstairs are fighting right now. They're waging a war. And I refuse to stop working because they have no social sense. It's not my fault that they forgot they have neighbors. So I'm just going to keep on going and keep on trucking. They can't stop me. Purity. Wants purity. We have frothy water. Something pure. 
I'm thinking frothy water, because it's just water with froth. Right? I don't know. This guy's orders make no sense to me. How is this pure? It's a drink. It's free from any human sin. It can do no harm consci it can do no harm consciously. Ah, yes. Beautiful. Ugh. Hmm? Hey you, guy over there. Me? Yes, you. Have we met before? I can't remember. Uh, maybe? Yeah, I think, uh... No, 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 we... Oh, no, we haven't met, ever. Um, not at all. That's an interesting reaction. Uh, yes, Dana, your sister is certainly cute. Can I leave, please? Fine, we discussed what we had to anyways. Careful out there. Thank God. Pleasure meeting you, Jill. Same to you, uh, Robert. Please come again. Bartender, if you're done ogling Mr. Holocall suit, would you mind giving me a drink? Alright, sure, what do you want? I want... to leave. Bye, bartender! Huh. Second time he ran off like that, he's either hiding here or would rather not be found by the police. What do you think, Gil? I don't know anything about it. Of course you don't. We done for the day? Yep, quite a few clients considering the whole situation. Oh shit, that Virgilio guy! So you two actually met before? Yeah, you could uh, say that. Wait, why? What? Gil stuff, don't mind it. What were you talking about with Brian? Well, we were mostly catching up to be honest. I hadn't seen him in a while, I offered him a drink when we met last week. I talked a bit about what to do after the bar closes. Oh, and I tried to explain the situation with Robert here. He agreed to help me out with that one when the time comes. Ah. Oh. I was also tuning up the details for the new employee. New employee? Part-timer. You'll meet him tomorrow. Oh. Him, so it's a guy? An adorable guy, if I do say so myself. Suddenly have deja vu. You alright, Jill? Uh, yeah. Must be nothing. Oh, I got no mistakes! Oh my god! Brian gave me $500? Why did Brian give me $500? Dude, I need more friends like Brian. Huh, we did it. I'm actually kind of impressed. Electricity bill is coming on the 24th. Please make sure you have the $8,000 needed. It's an expensive electricity bill. Buying a shoulder massager will keep her from being distracted. A shoulder massager, quote unquote. I'm of the opinion that all those things that are like, oh yeah, it's totally, it's an ab massager. I'm pretty sure they're all masturbation assistance devices. I doubt anybody's using those like you're supposed to. Nano camo underwear. I think I'll get a pair just to see what kind of skin I can use with them. They'll nickel and dime you with the DLC. There's no way you get the skin you use, you know, that you want. It's gonna get cracked day one. Maybe, but I don't think it'll be that fast. Yeah, I think I'll just wait for its mod until it's modded for custom skins. I thought the nano machine fabric was bad for your health. Nah, it's just a meme. My walls are made of that thing and I'm alright. Are the walls hacked yet? I'm gonna marry camo tan. We now have underwear that can change its look. Don't you just love the future? I would if they weren't such a bunch of assholes about their business practices. Then don't buy the underwear. I won't. Can confirm the situation has finally reached its end. The attacker was shot dead, but a huge amount of data was released from the servers all around the world. Remember the leaks from Alice? Those were nothing compared to this. Proof of corruption, money laundering, espionage, it's actually really unsettling. Damn. File is available from approximately 60,000 sources, terabytes that contain all operations from the Glitch City government and White Knight operations. It seems like the ultimate goal from the attacker was not to blow up the bank, but to lead hostages towards the servers inside the bank, which had files under several layers of physical security. That shit sounds whack. How do you even make a plan in this? Or how do you even make a plan this complex? No idea, but that's what some of the witnesses are telling the police oh it looks like i have to leave but i'll try to write down all the details for a future post gonna need some time though godspeed anon thanks damn i suppose we save right now just hit it up in my room in my room in my room in my room oh you can go walls or table well, did they come with any that I, like, naturally get by default? I want green walls. Yeah, green walls are comforting. I can have bombs on my little table right there. How legit is that? 
Nano Camo Majuo. She wanted me to go get a shoulder massager. How much does that cost? 600 bucks? Jesus. Let me wait till I exceed the amount I need for rent. I'm still worried about it. She can just be distracted today. It sounds like she's naturally distracted anyways. Oops, wrong place. Good evening. Hey, hello, Jill. In that cage? I, uh, I brought my cat. Your cat. Did I hear Yasunori Kato was in the bar? Bring me that bastard. I'll give him the fist of justice. I'll make him meet the Kanto earthquake. I'll borrow his cap. Wait, there's no evil on me. I don't even know how to say that word. On Miyuji? I don't know. On Miyuji? I don't know. Whatever. Boss, what the fuck? Didn't you say you brought Kato to the bar? My cat. My cat. Well, that's even better. Hey, four. So cute. Why'd you bring him? I heard some apartments in my building were being raided. I don't have anything suspicious, but you never know. I'd rather not have him there, at least today. Ah, oh, well, I'd say something about the health regulations, but we already had a pack of corgis here. You want me to take care of him in my office? Please? Sure, but he's a bit shy, so... Alright, Four, let's go to my office. I think she didn't hear me. Say, Gil, how do you always come so early? I live close by. Really? Yep. Chief got me a small apartment nearby, something about the BTC housing program. Oh yeah, I got mine through that too. Anyways, let's start. Time to mix drinks and change lives. I knew it was coming. Yo, what's up? Uh, uh, lady? Did you, uh, hear me? A dog. Another dog. Hey, I'm just not another dog. I came here as a part-timer. So you're the part-timer. Yeah! Boss, I'm taking my break. It's too early. Shit. The part-timer's here. Huh, he came early. Why a dog? Why? 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 Because look at him! He has a Hawaiian shirt and sunglasses! And he's a Shiba, not a Corgi. I don't know what you're complaining about. It'll look the same to me. That's racist. Granted, Shibas could be seen as the Japanese counterpart to Corgis. They're both funny looking and dogs used by the royalty. Anyway, starting today, this dog will help out around here. My uh, name is... Uh, it doesn't matter what your name is. Boss, please don't shout. Sorry. Just call him Rad Sheba. Why Rad Sheba? What part of the Hawaiian shirt and sunglasses don't you get? He's the raddest thing here. Thanks. Anyways, he'll mostly help getting orders, bringing clients in and cleaning. You ought to know how things work. Cleaning? That'd be a change of pace. He'll act like a client and see how you work. Uh, right? What can I get for you? I left the, uh, Grizzly Temple. You okay? Yeah, just a couple of post-traumatic flashbacks. Coming right up. Grizzly Temple? Who orders a Grizzly Temple? That's a scum drink. And blended. They are blending. Well, I am blending. Are bra, stretches, are bra straps normally itchy? I don't know. There you go. Wow! This is awful! People actually pay for this shit, huh? Hard to believe, I know. So what brings a dog like you taking a part-time job here? Well, I'm here to uh, help the funding of my organization. Are you with the Safar Toy Company? What? No! Don't let me in with those Harding supremacists. I have to be a more noble and benign organization. I belong to the CIRA. CIRA? Canine Independent Rescue Association. We give a place where dogs can be dogs and save them from themselves. CIRA is what I love, but damn is it expensive sometimes. We decided to take part-time jobs to help fund everything that it needs. We want to help CIRA be the best that it can be. What do you do at the CIRA? Pay treatment for hurt dogs, give food to the hungry ones, and then play with the bored ones. We're here for everybody. Uh, that sounds actually pretty nice. Say, uh, you got a menu? Something like that, yeah, here. Now let me see. Any recommendations? Avoid the part with the promo drinks. Ah, oh, the Grizzly Temple is one of those. 
Fluffy Dream, huh? I like the sound of that one. Coming right up. Fluffy Dream, gonna drop it on you with the heme now. Fluffy Dream. Optional Karma Train. Let's get this fool drunk on his first day of work. How about that? Age and mix. Fluffy Dream. Well, uh, this was nice. So why did you pick a bar? Ah, it seemed fun. I didn't need that many weird skills to be a part of this, so ah, it was my best bet. Besides, it's close to home, so I don't have to get here by walking. Or I can get here by walking. And I do love me some walks. I could walk all day long. Weird skills, huh? Yeah, stuff like food handler's certificate, previous work experience, or thumbs. Why did you pick a bar? Uh, on a whim too, I guess. I wanted a place where I could see people come and go all the time. And bartending sounded a bit more glamorous than just being a store clerk. Oh yeah, about the way you mix stuff. Yeah? Is it, uh, hey. It's a cat. That's a cat. Hey, Four, weren't you in the boss's office? Hello, cat. You want to play? Let's play. Don't dogs hate cats or something? We don't hate them unless, you know, they're intruders. I see. You said his name was Four, huh? Hello, Four. Let's play. No playing allowed. You'll make a mess. Four, go back to the boss's office. Meow. That's one obedient cat. My pride. You want something else? Yeah, but I'll tell you, I'm gonna, I'll talk with John Face over here for a bit. Eh? Alright. I shouldn't get riled up so easily by dogs, but I don't know. I'm just tired, I guess. Hello, Jill. Oh, that voice. Se hey! What happened to you? Nice seeing you, too. Well, I fell from a really tall place to a really rough spot. Are you alright? You need an ambulance or something? I just got out of one. Don't worry. How'd you manage to slip by the mobs lynching white knights? It was a bit rough. Luckily, those bandages helped me conceal my identity. <laughs> Why come straight here? I, uh, the ambulance where I got treatment couldn't stray too far from the hospital. They're nice people. I've talked to them a lot while on rescue duties. I was nearby, and yours was the closest friendly face I could find. I needed to regain my composure before doing anything else, so here I am. Uh, if you're scared because they might come for me, I can leave, you know. The security systems of the bar are top-notch, and my boss is also the bouncer of sorts here. I'd say you're actually probably safer here, so I'm not that worried about me. Instead, I'm, uh, I'm worried about you. First I hear you were at the bank, then I found out you disappeared, and now you show up with all those bandages. Are you fine? What happened at the bank, exactly? Did you talk with Stella? She was worried sick about you. Slow, uh, slow down a bit. The medications make me feel everything more intensely. Almost like a hangover. Sorry. It's nice to know somebody like a bartender was worried about me, though. Thanks. Everybody I know has been ignoring me, so I was feeling lonely. Why would they? Well, you've seen the lynches they give to any white knight they find. By ignoring me, they're actually saving me from getting kicked to death. My good deeds finally paid off, I guess. <laughs> Can I get you anything? Ah, uh, something sweet with no alcohol. Thank God these pants still have my wallet in them. Nah, I can't take your money right now. It's on the, uh, please. Chill, I want to pay for my drinks. I take it I won't be able to charge or change your mind. No, I mean, yeah. I mean, you won't be able to change my mind. Sweet with no alcohol, right? Coming up. Uh, sweet with no alcohol was a... There was something in here. It was a sugar rush. Optional karma train. So we'll powder that bad boy up. No karma train for you. Sweet, girly, and happy and mixed. There it is. Sugar rush, no liquor. Yay! This will help me calm down a bit. Not if it doesn't have liquor. So what happened to you? Where did you fall from? I was escaping the place near the end of the whole thing, and I had to make a leap of faith. I jumped from higher places, but I landed badly here. Most of my injuries are actually from er, from debris that fell on me. Oh, but my broken arm is actually from the fall. How? I rolled to mitigate the fall, but I made a bad move and broke it. Good thing I drink lots of milk. I was under rubble quite a bit, but luckily somebody found me. Somebody? I woke up in the hospital, and they told me some guy brought me there. I don't know who he was, but I owe him my life. What? Nothing. You just sound cheerful. I'm alive. Why wouldn't I be? After all that happened at the bank, here I am talking to you, being able to talk at all. Don't think too much about it. I'm fine. I'm totally fine. Wow, 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 wow. Um, how are things around here? I heard there was a huge commotion and the whole thing happened. 
I had to sleep here in the bar on Saturday, but I guess it could have been worse. Glad to know that. Did you contract Stella or did you contact Stella? She was on the verge of despair yesterday. Um, hey Jill. I want another drink. A uh, bleeding Jane. All right, bleeding Jane. There it is, which I assume is the equivalent of a bloody Mary. Give her some flanner guy and then we'll blend this bastard on up. And this Jane going to get blood day up in here. What did I mess up? Oh, two Bronsons, my bad. Bronson, three powder delta, and some flanner guide. I saw two right there for some reason. I don't know. It messes with me. Numbers move around on me a lot. Numbers move around on me. There. Cheers. Mm -hmm. So how are things inside the bank? <clears throat> Come again? What happened inside the bank? How did you manage to get through it? Ah, uh, well, I was with this nice bunch of people, and, well, they were apparently nice at the very least. We tried our best to find a way out of the whole thing, cracking through security and finding safe spots, but then... Uh, sorry for asking all that. It was obviously over the line. No, no, no. Don't worry about it. It's just the uh, analgesics are still numbing me. I'll take my leave now. Thanks for everything, Jill. Are you alright? I'm fine. I'm fine. Ugh. That girl saw some awful things inside that bank. The sight of desperate people stuck in one building is enough to scar anybody. Maybe I shouldn't have said all that? I mean, if it's true that she just woke up and ended up here, I don't know. I feel like I was being too pushy. That's not something that I can measure. You were just worried, and I bet she's still in shock. Yeah. McGill? Want me to make sure she's fine on her way? Please. All right. I'll go and take my break now. And actually, this safe spot is a great place for us to break it on off. My name is Splattercat, breaking it on off here with a save. This is Valhalla. I will see you all in the next episode. It's been a lot of fun so far, and I hope you'll stop on by. I feel like this is probably not the crowd pleaser that I thought it would be, but I like the game a lot, so we're going to finish it. Damn it. We're going to finish it. All right? See y'all later. Bye, everybody.